Holy smokes, this thing's massive. Oh my god. This is gonna, this is gonna be some work. I'm not sure how we're gonna do this. Oh my gosh, huge. Look at that thing. What's up guys? So my plan for today was to target striped bass from the kayak using my super finesse light tackle rig. But unfortunately, this morning, this happened. So pretty much the video's over, not gonna happen. We're done for today. Just kidding. Luckily, I brought my other finesse rig. This is my salmon rig, and it's the only one I got left, so I can't break this one. I'm using today a Kalisa nuclear pink color. Uh, this is a pretty new color for them. I think it's gonna work wonders on the striped bass and maybe even a halibut in here. There's possible there's some halibut swimming in these waters. So I'm gonna start trolling this around. We'll see if we can make it happen. So I'm putting it back probably about, I don't know, 100 feet or so. And then we're just gonna troll. Oh, gotta set my drag. Set it somewhat loose. Using pretty light tackle here, light setup. If we catch a good striper, it should be fun. Man, I don't know what it is with me. I've been breaking a lot of gear recently. Gotta stop doing that. Not a big one. Really small. Oh, a little striper. Got one. Oh, came off. It was about 12 inches. I barely even knew he was on there. First fish on the new uh, nuclear pink Kalisa. There's a fish, there's a fish. There we go. That's a fish. I just trolled by this little point I got back behind me. Uh, I saw some current like pushing up off the point. I kind of thought maybe it'd be a good spot for a predatory fish to come ambush their prey. And what do you know, it worked out. I don't want to get hooked in the finger. Done that before, it's not pleasant. All right, got him right at the top of the mouth. All right, there you go, second little striper on the nuclear pink Kalisa. Pretty cool little lure. Let's see how long he is, just, just for the fun of it. Always important, if you're gonna be releasing fish to wet down your bump board, that'll pr uh, protect the fish's slime coat. And that is a 17 and a half incher, slightly below the legal minimum size here in California, which is 18 inches. I always love when they have that top dorsal fin sticking straight up like that. Makes for a cool looking picture. So here's what I did for that fish. I was just coming right up on that point right there. And the current's coming off this way, pushing off this way, so I was thinking, Hey, if I was a predatory fish, I'd be sitting right on the other side of that waiting for unsuspecting little minnows or other bait fish to come drifting up off that point. And then they can come up and hammer shed in. Hey, it worked. We'll drift back through here, see if there's any more. Oh, there's one. Look at that. I think I might have hooked. Something. Something heavier, that's for sure. Whatever it is. What I don't think this is a striper. Could be a bat ray. I've been known to catch those before. But whatever it is, it's it's heavy. Yeah, it's good good size, whatever it is. Whatever it is, it's just kinda like 
cruising. It's not, it hasn't got any big, like, you know, quick runs, but it's just kind of cruising, going where it wants to. I got a feeling this is a bat ray, but you never know. One of the things that's great about fishing, especially in salt water, is you never know what you're gonna get. And there it goes. Oh, shoot. Now it's taking off. Now it's taking off. What is this? What is this? It's looking kind of bat ray ish. Yeah, it's a bat ray, unfortunately. I didn't want it to be, but it is. I mean, just like the striped bass, it's just sitting right on that si on the other side of that point, waiting for unsuspecting prey to come swimming by. Oh yeah, it's huge! Look at that thing. Holy smokes, this thing's massive. Oh my god. This is gonna this is gonna be some work. I'm not sure how we're gonna do this. It's a lot bigger than if you watched a few videos ago when I was halibut fishing. I hooked another one of these. That one was about like wingspan was probably like a foot, foot and a half. This one's probably like three feet wide not more oh my god it's huge look at that thing I might have to bring it on shore I don't know why I just keep catching these things even on artificial somehow I managed to get one in the wing by mistake by accident Oh my god, this might be my PB bat ray. That thing's massive. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. Look at how big that is. Oh my god. Yeah, I think I gotta bring him to shore somehow. Well, you know what? There's some sand over here. I think I can get him in over here. I just don't think I'm gonna be able to handle him on the kayak. And I don't wanna to have to cut my line and leave that big lure in his wing. And I don't wanna lose my lure either. So I'm gonna bring him to shore. See if we can get him that way. Oh God. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get on shore. And then we're gonna try to bring him up on shore so that we can unhook him and release him. I just think that's the easiest way because I don't think I'll be able to do it out on the open water. I'm using pretty light tackle, so I just don't think it's gonna work out there. Hopefully we can get it done in here. All right. Let's see what we can do here. take a while. So it doesn't help that the tide is also pushing that way so I'm fighting the tide, fish, light tackle. Alright guys sorry this camera angle is probably terrible but here's that bat ray. I mean this is like easily my PB bat ray. I, I don't know how much it weighs. It's at least like it's probably like 70 or 80 pounds. I don't know. I mean, yeah, I'm not even gonna try to lift him. I don't wanna hurt him or me. I, don't, I, I probably can't even lift him if I tried, but. 
It wasn't the target species, but you know, sometimes this happens. You're trolling a jerk bait, and sometimes it just accidentally drags it along the back of the ray. But main reason why I wanted to bring it on shore like this is so I could get the hook out just like that. I don't think I would have been able to do that out in the water. So there's that. All right, look at that thing. I mean, easily three feet across on the wingspan. And uh, we're trying to keep it like in somewhat, you know, shallow water so that I can keep getting water through its gills while I kind of unhook it and get it ready to go. But that's just a massive, massive bat right here, right there. Super strong, kind of annoying, but you know, that's how it goes sometimes. All right, don't want to keep it up here too long. I'm just tired it out mainly, tired myself out. But I mean, it is underwater somewhat, somewhat submerged. So it's keeping water going through its uh, gills or whatever, I don't know. Super, super heavy fish, super strong fish. And uh, we fought it on 20 pound test and a salmon rod. So pretty cool feat. We'll get this one back. The stinger is right back there. That's the thing you gotta watch out for. So let's get this release. All right, let's get this fish back in the water. Send her off. Thanks for the battle. There it goes. Just a cool, calm, and easy send off. Oh god. Oh, this jellyfish right here. Come on, bro. Move along. Alright guys, we're gonna end it on that. Now obviously bat ray isn't what we were looking for, but Hey, we caught a few striped bass, and I assure you this lure would also work for halibut out here in the bay or out in the ocean too, same deal. And I know other people have caught it on in the surf or in the kayak. If you want to get this lure or the sardine glow from Kalisa, make sure you use the code DIEHARD at checkout and you'll get 10% off. Super versatile. Obviously, like I said, we're not trying to catch bat ray. I wouldn't recommend it as a, a bat ray killer, but if you're looking for striped bass, surf perch, or even halibut, and I'm sure plenty of other species would hit this as well. So make sure you use the code DIEHARD at checkout and pretty strong hooks, good design, nice little wobble in the water. If you want to get one for yourself, check out the link below. Other than that, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you on the next video. I'm long overdue for a nap after that battle. <laughs>